How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk to you about a crypto project, not one that has a token even, but just a crypto project that just got a $20 million funding round from Microsoft, Avalanche, and Polygon. This is one that I think you should put on your radar. It has some interesting uh, opportunities coming in the future and is kind of transforming the Web3 space. Now they just got a big shout out from Chainlink as well, which we'll talk about. And you don't get large funding rounds like this unless you have something going for you. So I'm gonna put a link to this underneath the video in case you just wanna check out the website. Uh, they are a partner of the channel, so definitely do your research. Now, Microsoft, Avalanche, and Polygon just joined a $20 million funding round for this Web3 automation startup called Space in Time. So they're a Web3 data firm that also is supported by blockchain Oracle firm Chainlink through its startup program. Now, what they're trying to do is create a Web3 native decentralized data warehouse powering low latency queries and tamper-proof analytics across Web3. Now, in case that doesn't make much sense, we'll get into it in just a moment. Uh, but they did get a, like I said, a $10 million seed round back in July, and they just announced a $20 million funding round led by M12VC, which is Microsoft's VC fund. Now, I like to see where big money is putting their money, and we've already known that Microsoft and a couple other of these large, large companies are investing in crypto, so I think it's important to see where they're investing. And this project is definitely in Web3. Now, Nate Holiday is the, the co-founder and CEO, He's also a strategic advisor to Chainlink Labs and Bain and Co. He's recognized in the industry as building global teams and delivering best practices to achieve GTM success. Now, they are fully doxed here on their website. You can check them out as well. Now, I mentioned that they're a Web3 native decentralized data warehouse, but in case that is kind of confusing, this is kind of how it breaks down. They started as part of Chainlink's lab program that supports the development for Web3 startups. They use Chainlink and other sources to pull from blockchains decentralized applications and off-chain systems. Its database processes the data off-chain, avoiding high transaction or gas fees and slow throughput, and then transmits the data to the validation layer to be verified. The validation data is sent back on-chain to smart contracts, which is where the blockchain application that requested the data can see the results. A key issue, they say, with decentralized applications is having to work with centralized databases that have the ability to tamper with data. Users can see data coming in but cannot tell if anyone has added information to the data, which could be done in a malicious way. The proof of SQL model would show users evidence of any tampering such as if anyone changed the query results in the middle of the query. So proof of SQL can turn any centralized database into a trustless database while clarifying that it doesn't make it a decentralized database. Now, Michelle Gonzalez, who is the corporate vice president and global head of M12, the Microsoft venture firm, uh, just said, we look forward to seeing the ways in which space and time will allow the business logic in centralized systems to be automated and connected directly to smart contracts. As blockchain technology finds applications in a wide range of industries, Space and time is building the foundation to shape this world in a Web3 environment. M12 looks forward to partnering in on that journey. Now, they also said that the funds will be used to accelerate engineering and product development. Over 90% of funding will be dedicated to the product and customer adoption of space and time. Now, they are going to integrate with Microsoft's Azure, too. That could allow customers of the cloud computing business to access, manage, and perform analytics on blockchain stored data. Space and Time plans to launch an alpha version of its product by the end of this year, a beta launch in spring of 2023, and expects the product to go live in the fall of 2023 as well. Now, what I think they're really doing is just trying to build in the bear market. They're really trying to set everything up so that they have a smooth transition when the bull market comes back on. Now, maybe they launch some kind of crypto product that consumers or just you and I, normal everyday investors can get into, uh, but maybe they do more B2B as well. Now, I'm going to leave links to this underneath the video so that way you can check them out more, but I feel like it's a very interesting project. Just one to keep an eye on, maybe 
go follow them on Twitter or something like that. They are a partner of the channel, but they're not asking you to do anything. They just want to get out and tell you what they are doing now. And it's pretty exciting. They just <laughs> announced this giant, giant funding round in a time where so many people are worried and people are being very tight with investments right now, but yet they are still able to get funding from some of the, big, the biggest projects out there. I know I'll definitely be keeping my eye on them. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.